Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Terry Gilster and today we discuss how to simple estimate the extrusion residence time by using an online tool. Okay, let us get started with some background. So some um, background of the calculation I set up in a, in a simple spreadsheet. So we start with the residence time in hours. We need the melt volume of the extruder multiplied with the density of the material here it's important density of the material at melt temperature and divided by the flow rate so then we uh, get the, the residence time and we will have now a detailed look in the uh, online on the on the block how this how this works okay now i opened up a, a browser window and the first thing we do is we go to find out about prestix.com my blog it opens up and there you see now here in the upper part online calculation tools and material databases so we open this then you see different calculators uh, a cooling time calculator we have clamping force calculator and below that um, we have the injection molding extrusion residence time calculation sheet uh, in the upper part you can see residence time calculation for injection molding this we discussed already in a in another video i will link you the video then below and below this we can find here the extrusion residence time calculation and we have again our three values we have the melt volume we have the flow rate so the output and we have the density of the material at the at, as previously already mentioned at melt temperature so in our case we have a, a melt volume of 0 0.003 then we have a flow rate a output so kgs per hour of let's simply put 100 and as a density of the material we assume it's 1000 okay and then we see here in the output field our result the residence time in hours is 0 0.03 and then we have uh, since this is a bit difficult to measure we translate it also to residence time in minutes so we have 1.8 minutes that's a, that's a good value for our residence time and I describe some background information in a in a blog post so I can also show you this immediately you can see here residence time calculation for extrusion here's again the, the online calculation and also the, the the spreadsheet and below you find here the extruder output calculation losing this uh, using uh, this uh, equation and you can also for example the leakage flow which is also important um, is calculated by adding the mass flow rate so the track track flow and the pressure flow and uh, sub uh, subtract the um, extrude output and also as a general rule of thumb the higher the temperature the lower should be the the melt resonance time to not damage the molecular structure of your polymer okay okay if you want to have more information on polymer engineering topics i highly recommend you my blog find out about plastics.com which we had already a look today and also my online courses on polymer material selection i will link you both the blog and the online courses in the description below okay so which video to watch next in this video i explain the online calculation of the residence time for injection molding so check this out and also i would like to thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe and smash that like button till next time bye